Good morning, people. It's July 2nd. July 2nd. And we are still waiting and watching for our Lord Jesus. I wanted to bring something up to you uh, that's got me a little confused. Maybe someone out there can kind of help me. I just got Stellarium this week, and I've been on it for hours and hours. And um, looking back at this scripture, Genesis 49.10, that the scepter shall not, um, what does it say? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. So, um, looking at Stellarium, I wanted, I wanted to see this because I was told. And I had heard and I had read uh, there's p other people's, you know, comments and such that this sign, um, Jupiter, will be leaving between, out of Leo's feet um, starting uh, on the 14th or will be out of his feet on the 14th or whatever. So I wanted to see that and um, I started watching this on Stellarium on the 1st, but this is the 30th. So I've backed up to the 30th. This is from Seattle. And so let's go ahead and forward this a little. Sorry, I'm kind of new to this program, so um, I hope I don't mess up. But So it goes forward. There's the sun setting. And here comes Leo. Okay, this is on the 30th, June 30th. Jupiter looks like it's already out of Leo's, between Leo's feet. Now back a week ago, Jupiter was more in the middle. And now, this is on the June 30th. It's like, I mean, I don't even know how to measure that. You could even take a piece of paper and like put a straight line and it's not quite out yet. And maybe this drawing of this lion is not perfect. So let's go ahead and, and move forward another day. So this is the 1st of July. This is yesterday. Here's the sun setting in Seattle. And here comes Leo. And look where Jupiter is still. I mean, okay, people, that is like right on his foot. And you could consider it still to be, I guess, between his feet. But, you know, wow. I, I'm just wondering, is this truly a sign? Um, it doesn't really say it's a sign in Scripture. At least I haven't seen that. So, let's move forward another day. Let's go to today, the 2nd. And there's Leo. And there's Jupiter. Okay, that is like, that's right on his feet. That's tonight. I mean, I don't know if this is straight down. A leg would be considered straight down. But if you match that up, I mean, he's just right on the edge. And according to this drawing, he's right on the edge of the toe. And I'm not sure which star would be the legs, if there are stars that um, are considered the leg. I know this is the upper part of the body and this is the tail. But I'm thinking, if this is a sign... Um, it's it's not it's it's happening now. Seriously, let's go to tomorrow. Let's let's go to the third. Here's Leo. Look at that. I mean, he's just on the edge of the toe. I wish I knew more about um, the constellations. Um, I don't. If anybody knows out there, please leave a message. 
and let me know what what you think. I mean, is this still between the feet or not? I don't know. It doesn't. It, and is this truly a sign? Is there any scripture that backs it up that it's truly a sign in the heavens, like like the woman in the stars, or the woman in the heaven with the <coughs> excuse me, um, with the moon at her feet and the crown of twelve stars. Um, so let's just keep going. Let's go to the 4th, 4th of July. You know, oh, there goes a shooting star. I don't, I just don't know if that's between the feet. I really don't. And this is, this was boggling my mind last night, um, because of everything I had read that it leaves from out of between the feet on the 14th, Jupiter. But clearly you can see it's, I don't know. Let's keep going a couple of days. Tuesday the 5th, look at it's farther away. how far it is now. That's on the 6th. The 7th, I mean it's not even touching it anymore. Let alone between its feet. Look at that. interesting. Did you see on the 8th how close the moon and Jupiter were? That was interesting. But anyways, it's clearly not even near its foot. And this is the 9th of July. So, I don't know who said it leaves out of between its feet on the 14th. Because I don't see that. And, you know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. But as far as I can see, mm-mm. It's not even anywhere near its feet, and we're on the 11th of July. It's already gone out of between its feet. So let's go to the 14th. This is the day it's supposed to be out of its feet, I guess. Um, and it is. It's way far away. So if anybody can help me with this and help me to understand this, um, is this a sign? I mean, it's clearly not even in the feet. And it looks like by the 3rd or the 4th of July, let's go back there. Let's go back to today. Today's the 2nd. Right there. Look at that. Can you see that? So, another thing that I saw on here when I was going crazy on this solarium last night, gosh, I was up till after midnight. Um, some interesting things happened in, July, in August. So I just want to go to August. Let's go to August 13th. Actually, let's go to the 12th. This is the 12th. There's the sun going down. And there's 
Jupiter. Still at the feet, but it's kind of way off the feet. I don't know. So let's go to the 13th. You know what? I want to be in August. Sorry, people. I'm new at this software. Let's just go to the point I'm looking at. Let's go to the 26th of August. Okay, check this out. Okay, there's the sun in Leo. That that is Venus right there. Let's go back up a little bit. That is Venus. That you, and it looks like there's something else there, too. Well, it's something that we cannot see from Seattle. Oops. So let's, let's go to um, Jerusalem. Let's go to Jerusalem. Okay, so it's daytime there because we're, they're 10 hours ahead of us in Seattle. So let's go... Let's go forward just a pinch. There's Leo. There's the sun in Leo. Look at that. That is Jupiter and Venus. That is the star of Bethlehem. It is showing again. That is August 27th, 2016. And you know the amazing thing is, people? This is not shown in the United States. You cannot see that like I showed you. From Seattle, you, it's not visible. It's not visible in Britain, Great Britain, but it is visible in Israel, in Jerusalem, the star of Bethlehem, August 27th, 2016. Hmm, why is that? Why is it not visible in the countries that were founded on God, the United States of America? in Great Britain. It's not visible there. Visible in Jerusalem though. And, you know, the Jews don't don't believe in Jesus. They're waiting for their quote Messiah. They don't believe in Jesus. So I'm just saying, is this a sign to those left behind, to the Jews left behind? Because you can't see it in the United States. Anyways, I've got some other things I wanted to share with you, too, on this new Stellarium. If you, if you know anything about this um, Genesis 49.10, quote, sign, supposed sign, please let me know. And um, God bless you all as we wait and watch for our Lord and King Jesus. I love you, and Maranatha.